you looking for parts for a PC? Are you looking for the best possible prices about? Do you want to make sure that they are compatible with your device? Then you need to check out PC Part Picker, which can compare the price of PC parts across a whole range of websites. And check out the link in the description for more details. Welcome guys to a new video of our sleeper PC that we're building. And as you can see, I've taken the hard drive out. I've taken what's the, I think it's the ethernet and other ports and stuff for TV. So we should be able to remove the motherboard now because that's what we're doing today is we're going to buy a new motherboard for this build just to start it off with a motherboard is a good idea so depending on our budget we can spend from 40 pounds up to well up and above really but our goal i think is best if we get a motherboard that has usb 3 and also has um, also has wireless connection because it's always annoying when a motherboard doesn't have wireless connection. So I'm taking the what seems to be four screws out on the new motherboards. There should be six. So this might be a problem. Um, well, there is six. It's fine. So last episode. We had a look into the PC, we saw what we've got, and basically the things we can use are the, yeah, thanks Jake. So the things we can use happen to be the hard drive. Hopefully it works. It doesn't have SATA and it only has, um, I can't remember what it's called now, Molex connection. So that's upsetting because depending on the power supply that we get it might not work and it has it has windows and everything on that so we might need it if we just if like our budget runs out before we can afford to buy windows so who buys windows anyway they just get it on part day so last screw the motherboard and after we get the motherboard off, we can have a look to see what CPU it did have before it died. I guess we're going to go on an adventure to PC World, buy a motherboard, and then come back, install it, and see if it fits. Right, we have just arrived at New Oscar at a PC World. Yeah, boy. And we're going to see if we can get a motherboard and potentially some RAM as well. Yeah, 4 gig of RAM. See what yeah. happens. Mm -hmm. Right, so we weren't able to find a motherboard at PC World, but we got a 430 watt power supply, we got a webcam, and we also got some ATP DR3 RAM. Okay. So we're gonna, when we get home, we're gonna see if we can power up the PC we've got and see if we can get this working. Yeah. And if this motherboard we do have does work. Thanks for these vlogs brought to you by PC Part Picker. Okay, then we're home and. We've just managed to put our brand new power supply in with 430 watts and it's got Dr. Octopus like <laughs> wires coming out of it and we're going to try and get the motherboard back under there that we currently have since we since we couldn't find one in the store and see if this one will work. Of course we can't put our new RAM into that but we just need to test if we can switch this on. Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for watching this video. Um, we've done many things today. We've had a good eventful day. We went to PC World, got a power supply, a webcam and some RAM. And what have we done, Jake? Come on. And we've managed to fit it all inside of the case that we've got right here. The motherboard is going to go away, the old one. And we concluded that the problem with it before was not the power supply because we fitted the new one in and it, still didn't, it didn't start. So it must be the motherboard and the processor that just stopped working. As were those. So we've ordered some and we should get some in the next week. Yep. So we'll be back. When we do that, we'll be back with a new video and hopefully we'll be able to complete the PC and maybe do some benchmarks.